was, uh, some of you, uh, may have heard on my, uh, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, I, uh, lost Bandit. Uh, today is Sunday. I lost him yesterday on Saturday around noon. Uh, when I posted the picture of here, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of you were asking what happened, and I just, you know, I, I didn't really have, you know, the words to put it in, you know, to tell everybody right away what happened. Um, so I guess I'll just tell y'all now. Uh, yesterday, uh, A few people and I went down to the creek down here on the property to go fishing and we had a truck down there and uh, you know we were down at the pond and the creek and we were just back and forth in between each one and you know Bandit was jumping in you know he loves to play in the water and uh, you know he was just having a lot of fun and uh, we were down at the creek, and we were coming back. We were gonna go back up to my house uh, to cool off. It was really hot, and uh, you know, Bandit wasn't getting in the truck. You know, we were trying to get him in the truck to bring him up, but he mostly just liked to run with us. And uh, we were in a big field, you know, and uh, I was sitting on the tailgate. And when we were riding back up, uh, you know, we were going like maybe five miles an hour, not even. It's a real bumpy, you know, field. And uh, the end of just he he just ran right underneath the truck. Stopped the truck immediately, and I, I don't know, I didn't even know what was happening, and I just started yelling, and ran over to him, and he died instantly, so that was good. Whenever I, I ran over to him and uh, I put him in my arms, you know, I'm not going to get into detail of what he looked like, but, you know, he was, his face was pretty, you know, messed up and it looked like he was already dead and uh, I put him in my arms and I still felt a little heartbeat and uh, I was trying to, you know, yell at him and see if I could make him come back somehow, but he wasn't, and, uh, he... <sighs> and he died in my, died right in my arm. So, uh, I ended up uh, bringing him back up here to my house and, uh, dug him a grave here and buried him yesterday. And, uh, I buried him with all his toys and 
everything he had chewed up and you know that he liked to play with and stuff and, uh, <clears throat> when when I had him in my arms he uh, he had a smile on his face I'm not just making that up he really did you know he died with a smile on his face he was having fun he was playing in the water and I think the thing that just gets me, you know, he was only eight months old. You know, he wasn't wasn't even full grown. He was still really young, and it's pretty crazy that we can get so attached to, you know, a pet or a dog. You know, I can definitely say that Bandit was my best friend for the eight months. You know, I had him. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know anybody here where I live, and uh, mm -hmm. I really don't, you know, I don't get to go hang out with people all the time, I just don't know anybody, you know, and uh, I always had my little buddy, he was always by my side like he is now. He went everywhere with me. This dog was, you know, only eight months old, but he saw more, more of the road than most people have. Bandit. Look at me. I just wanted to make this video, you know, for everybody who was asking. I didn't have to make this video, but, you know, Bandit was a, a star, you know? You guys are so awesome, I don't even know what to say about it. When I posted this, I, I can't even, I don't even know how many people, you know, tweeting me or emailing me about how, you know, you guys loved him so much and you never even met him. So, I don't even know what to say to you guys. You guys are so supportive and it's like you guys really do care and it's like we're a family so I appreciate that a lot. You know, I don't have, uh, you know, really anybody to, you know, talk to here. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't know anybody here. And um, it seems like I don't really know anybody anywhere I live. But uh, you guys always make up for that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have been trying to, uh, you know, contact me and call me and stuff. And, it, it, you know, if you were watching this and you tried, I apologize. I, you know, I just haven't been in the right place really to talk. And I've just been keeping myself. And, you know, it's crazy how much a dog can really, you know, uh, affect you. Especially for me, just because he was with me everywhere, you know, I treated him as, you know, I mean, he went everywhere. If I went down to the store to, you know, get anything, he would always be with me, so. I just hope, you know, his spirit's still here and everywhere I go from now on, he'll still be with me. You know, I love you guys. You know, I know Bandit would have been happy to meet every single one of you guys. Every person he met, his little, his 
little butt would shake and he would jump all over you and lick you to death. So I know he loved you guys just as much as I did and thank you for all the support and everything. And uh, I just wanted to make this video to, you know, give you all an update. So thank you guys. I love you. We love you, Bandit. Rest in peace, buddy. You're a good boy.